okay here is a question from toc consider the language l1 is phi and l2 is a now which of the following represent l1 concatenation word with l2 star we may know it l1 star okay so option a is epsilon that is a language only one symbol is there that is epsilon b is phi that is a language containing no symbol or no string empty language option c is a star that means any combination of a's and option d is epsilon comma a okay let's see so to answer this question we need to remember a few points number is phi is empty language that is nothing no symbol in the language right now rule of concatenation of empty language so any language lx if we concatenate with phi result will be phi it doesn't matter how many symbols are there in lx right so it is like multiplying with zero so you must remember this rule next is star closure on uh, empty language now as you know that whatever language is, is it if star is there on it automatically the resulting language will have epsilon in it so that thing happens in case of empty language phi also if it is a epsilon uh, phi, uh, sorry, star closure of phi then the language will be resulting language will contain only one symbol that is epsilon now the given expression is l1 concatenation with l2 star union with l1 star now let's see what happens replace them by their expression so l1 is phi l2 is s2 union with l1 is phi and there is star so kept uh, the asterisk cover phi now this portion let's see a l2 or a star is going to be concatenated with phi so what will happen we know so anything concatenation with phi is phi so this part will become phi right and phi over a streak right so you know it is epsilon so it is going to be reduced like this from this part phi union epsilon right now what is the union of empty language and epsilon definitely it will be epsilon only so the answer is a thank you for watching like share and subscribe my channel